Hello YouTube, this is Kimberly 1114 I just uh, come with a quick update on my uh, micro braids. Um, if you watched the earlier video of the Encore um, review that I did on the type of hair that I got in my hair head now, and if you saw the um, the other video that I said that I was going to rebraid my hair also, uh, I decided, I haven't started rebraiding it yet. Um, I decided to wait at least maybe another three to four weeks because I spent all my time braiding my hair and I really didn't want to take it down that soon. Um, if I stretch it out another two to three weeks, I've been had my braids in close to two months. So um, I'll be able to, um, well, close to three months actually, and um, I'll be able to take it down then. Um, I figure if I'm a rebraid, I might as well wait till the new girl come in. That way I can stretch wearing micro braids a little longer than uh, I normally would. Um, also, um, I went to the beauty supply house and I was going to get Beverly Johnson's uh, wet and wavy um, hair. Um, I used that type of hair in my head last year and I spent I think $32.99 for one bag. I always use one bag of hair. Um, a lot of times I, I don't use a full bag but uh, normally I use um, one bag of hair when I do my micro braids. Plus I don't like my braids really really extremely extremely full. So, But um, anyway the girl said that the hair had went up to $54.99. I don't know what happened between last year and this year but I did not want to spend $54.99 on braiding hair. I'm sorry I just didn't want to do it. Um, so I ended up getting um, this uh, Harris Afro Beauty Collection and um, it's 100% human hair. This is the card that it uh, came in. Well, actually, it didn't have a card in it, but I looked for one. I didn't see it, but this is the type of package that it's in. Um, it's wet and wavy hair. It's an 18 inch and it's the same color I got in now, 1B33. And the hair is actually, it's extremely, extremely soft, which I was surprised. Um, also it got, it come in two bundles, two bundles, um, the hair that I have in now, it was actually separated in little small teeny teeny bundles, it was like six, um, uh, of the 33 and six of the 1B in there. This one, it seems to be the highlights are mixed in with the hair, which I'll probably kind of separate the brown from the black if I possibly can, um. I don't like my hair to be blended already. I like to blend my highlights in myself the way I can place it where I want to. Um, also, um, the hair is actually, like I said, it's really soft. It's not as soft as Beverly Johnson's hair because I think Beverly Johnson might be the one of the top of the line type of braiding hair. I'm not really sure. I, I'm not a professional, so I don't really know. But um, this hair is actually soft, softer than I expected. Um, I also use like some motion um, foam wrap and I put a little bit on a piece of the hair and I rolled it with a sponge roller and uh, when I took it out the next day after it dried the curl it actually held the curl and it was a, actually a pretty curl so I will be able to roll it set this hair um, so it looked like this hair is a winner compared to the one that I have in now um, like I said, I have no complaints about this the type of hair, this uh, afro hair, but I probably won't rebraid my hair for another three weeks probably. So, um, like I said, I want to stretch it out. Normally when I have my micros, when I wear micro braids, I leave my micro braids in for four to five months. I know that's a lot that's stretching it. I know a lot of people do theirs for like one, two months. Um, five, four to five months, it works for me. I have a lot, a lot of growth when I do that. Um, I keep my, I wash my hair, I condition it every two weeks, um, whether it be, I don't use a cream conditioner, I use a, a leave-in spray uh, conditioner. Um, and like I said, I, I have no problems with breakage or anything, or my edges falling out, or my hair thin, I have no problem at all with it. Um, I, like I said, I keep my hair oiled and moisturized and everything, so. Um, yeah, that was just the update on the type of hair that I brought. I also brought some beeswax, uh, Murray's beeswax. I know a lot of people use it um, on their ends. I've never used it before. This is my first time buying it. I'm going to try it and see how well it works. I don't really braid my baby hairs, but um, 
it's a bad idea to do that. Of course, I don't really have a lot of baby hairs really around my edges or anything like that. As you can see, my hairline is pretty much straight. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing rebraiding my hair probably three to four weeks maybe. I'm gonna try to stretch these braids out another three weeks at least, and um, then um, I'll be switching the hair over. I'll start switching the hair over. So um, yeah. Um, I probably did do a updo tutorial in a second. Uh, probably. Um, let me see how much time I get. Okay. And um, also, um, I got a request to do like a little small series of hairstyles that I wear my micro braids in. I'm going to try, try my best to get those done and get it uh, posted as soon as possible. It's kind of hard to do and take pictures uh, by myself. So I'm probably going to have to get my husband or something to take the pictures after I do my hair. But we'll work that out as I come to it. But I'll try my best to get those posted by the end of next week. So, the end of next week, I hope. So, I'll talk to you later, YouTube. Till the end. Take care.